Hi everybody, welcome to The Devil's Advocate. My name's Stephanie, I'm the bar manager. Thank you for purchasing the Four Corners of Scotland flight. Today I'm going to be joined by Ali Reynolds, the Johnny Walker Ambassador, and TJ Littlejohn, the Scottish Whiskey Ambassador, to talk you through the tastings of this flight. And I'm also going to introduce some perfect serves for the whiskies you have. Hi, my name is Ali Reynolds. I'm the Johnny Walker Ambassador, and I'm here today to talk to you about Glen Kinchy. This is the Glen Kinchy 12 year old. It's in at 43% ABV. It's a whiskey distillery that sits just 20 miles outside of Edinburgh city centre and it boasts two of the largest stills in Scotland. It creates a spirit that has these wonderful notes of flowers, this wonderful lemon cheesecake, and this wonderful kind of toffee and fresh lemon zest running through on the nose. On the palate, It's immediately quite sweet, fresh cut apple as well in there, some fresh cut grass. And again, that wonderful lemony citrus note coming through on the end with a little bit of star anise for me that kind of kicks in this spiciness and this wonderful finish across the palate. A beautiful distillery, and as I said, used to be known as the Edinburgh Malt. This is Glenkinchy 12 year old. Enjoy. Hi. TJ Littlejohn, Diageo Whiskey Ambassador, and I'm here to talk to you about this fantastic Cardew 12 year old. Gorgeous, succulent single malt whiskey from Speyside. A typical style of fruity and more gentle whiskey that we have that comes from that region. Cardew was actually the first distillery that Johnny Walker bought to secure the supply of this whiskey to guarantee the number one spot in his blended whiskey in the world. On the nose, Honey, pears, very, very approachable. And on the palate, much the same, but with that nice hint of spice, a little bit of sweet oak, and those car uh, carrying flavours of vanilla. Slanger. For the Cardu, my recommended serve is a whiskey scrapino. So this is a classic Italian cocktail. We're going to start with 25 mils of the Cardu. We're going to get those lovely fresh apple and pear notes coming through. Then we have a raspberry sorbet. So just a small scoop of that on top. And then we're going to top it with some fresh peach soda. It's a nice summer serve to be enjoyed in a garden. Slange. Hello, my name is Ali Reynolds, Johnny Walker Ambassador, and this whiskey I'm here to talk to you about today is Kleinleash 14 year old. Now, the Kleinleash distillery sits up on the east coast of Scotland in the Highlands region in a wonderful little town called Brora. Now, the Kleinleash 14 year old is a whiskey that is full of complex flavours. It's got some wonderful tropical fruit notes, this amazing rich honey note, some heather. And of course, Kleinleash's signature finish, which is this wonderful waxy citrus note, almost like candles burning. It's got a lovely note of leather and rich oak wood as well. On the palate, it definitely opens up into that tropical fruit note, some pineapple, passion fruit, and it takes a while for the sweetness to come out across the palate, but that wonderful finish that you should pick up, which really kind of entices you to go back for another sip, is that wonderful clean cut waxiness that we get from the Kleinleash Distillery. And it's, a, again, an incredible whiskey um, for the price and an incredibly complex whiskey at 14 years old. One of my absolute favorites, Kleinleash. Cheers, enjoy. Thanks for that, Ali. And you're back with me, TJ. And I'm now going to speak to you about the awesome Kalila 12 year old. Kalila actually means the sound of Isla. So you guessed it, it's from the Isle of Isla over on the west coast. Traditional whiskies from uh, the Isle of Isla are very peaty and powerful, uh, and a lot of that smoke content. That's what actually gives that slight hint of smoke to Johnny Walker Black Label. What I love about Kalila is that initially on the nose, it is punchy and peaty and smoky. But when you pull that glass further away from your, uh, from your nose, 
pull in some fresh air, I start to get these real great green apple and fresh cut grat notes. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And on the flavour profile as well, that smoke is so prominent, but so inviting. And when you go back in for a nice little second sip, and hold it in your mouth for a couple of seconds, that green apple note, fresh cut grass, really starts to come through. And obviously we've got that vanilla that's really the backbone to the whole entire branch of that flavour. Slanger. For the Kalila, my perfect serve is an elderflower and tonic highball. So we start with 25 mils of the Kalila. Lovely fresh green apple and gentle smoke coming through with that. That's going to work perfectly with the tonic. Next we have 10 mils of elderflower cordial, which you can pick up in any supermarket. And then we just top with some fresh cubes of ice. some tonic and you can either garnish this with a lemon twist or a lime wedge but personally I quite enjoy it with a fresh sprig of mint just so you have a nice bouquet on the nose there. Slange. Hello my name is Ali Reynolds I'm the Johnny Walker ambassador and I'm very pleased to introduce this whiskey which is the Johnny Walker Black 12 year old an incredible blend made of 30 different whiskies from all over Scotland. It covers all four corners of Scotland, hence the name for this edition. Uh, the Johnny Walker Black Label is in at 40% and each whisky comes from either the Highlands, the Islands, the Lowlands or Speyside. It's an incredible uh, blended whisky that really shows craftsmanship and of course balance. On the nose you get this wonderful toffee fresh cut apple, fresh cut grass, baked pear on the palate, toffee apple, fig, a wonderful kind of dark chocolate and coffee note. And then at the end, Johnny Walker's signature sign off of that wonderful peated smoke, which comes from distilleries like Kalila. A little bit of tropical fruit in there as well, which will be coming from Klein Leash. The fresh cut apple and pear that I mentioned comes from distilleries like Cardu. And of course, those wonderful floral notes and fresh cut grass, lemon zest coming from Glen Kinchy. A very well-rounded whiskey that is, can be enjoyed in a highball or of course neat. Johnny Walker Black Label, 12 year old. Cheers, enjoy. For the Johnny Walker Black, my recommended serve is a rooibos and ginger highball. So we're going to start with 25 mils of the Johnny Walker Black. Gentle smoke notes coming through on this and some lovely maltiness. Next, we're going to add 20 mils of the rooibos syrup. So what I did was I made some rooibos tea and then just added equal parts of the water to sugar. So we're going to start with 20 mils on that. That's going to add a nice earthy note to the cocktail. Lastly, top it up with some fresh ginger beer and some fresh ice. And then you can either garnish this with a lemon wedge or um, some fresh mint. Um, personally, I prefer just a gentle lemon twist over the top just to get a nice aromatic nose. There we are, slange. Thank you very much for joining us on your Four Corners of Scotland flight where we tasted four of the single malts that go in into making up the wonderful Johnny Walker Black Label. If you've got any further questions or would like to follow us, please search us on Instagram and Facebook at Devil's Advocate Edinburgh. Slange.